puzzlescript.net, click on make a game. To begin with, load example and load basic. On the left hand side of the screen is all of the code that we need. Rules is essentially the core of our code. That is where we tell PuzzleScript what to do in certain situations. If the condition on the left is true, we do this event. In this case, the condition is if the player is next to a crate and moving towards it, then push the player in the crate. So we can see our condition is separated by these square brackets. And then the line in the middle tells us that the player and the crate are next to each other. If we took the line away, we'd be saying if a player was on top of a crate, Likewise, if we put this, it would mean if the player was next to a crate and that crate was next to another crate, then do something. And then this arrow means, so if the player is moving towards the crate that it's next to, keep the player next to the crate. And then this arrow means move the player towards the crate. Because both arrows are facing the same direction, the crate and then the player will actually end up moving in the same direction. If we change the direction of these arrows, this is now saying move the player away from the crate and also move the crate in the same direction. So you will pull the crate. Now, now that we've changed the rule, we have to press run again. And now if we move it away from the crate, he pulls the crate, but we can't push it anymore. If you wanted to do both, just copy paste that code and change the arrows. Then that would make it that you could either push or pull a crate. So we can push it and we can pull it. Now, because we got this section called collision layers, so the top layer with background is everything on the bottom and then targets sit on top of the background and then players, walls and crates sit above that. That's why you can see he's on top of the grass. By default, everything that's on the same layer is considered solid. So you don't have to program that you can't walk through wall because they're on the same collision layer. You can also program and interact with things on different layers. For one thing, we could push the target if we wanted. If we just change our code like that, then the player and the target will both move. On the next event, we can just delete the target. Now we can eat them as well. Now, something you have to keep in mind is that you have to keep things even. Because on the left side of our condition, we're checking if one object is next to another object. When we delete our target on the other side, we can't just remove the line. If we try and run that, it gives us an error. Over here, it says in a rule, each pattern to match on the left has to have a corresponding pattern on the right of equal length, number of cells. This is one cell and target is another cell. Whatever situation you describe on the left, describe it on the right as well, the same way. It tells you specifically which line in the code it thinks is the problem. We click that, it will actually take us to the line in our code. All these down here on the left side of the screen, you can see all these numbers. That's to tell you which line of code it is. Now, there's something else we can do. We can go, if player is next to a crate, but actually we're gonna put another cell in there. And here we're gonna put dot, dot, dot. So when you do the dot, 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 it's saying if a player is on the same line as a crate and then moves towards the crate on that line, move up now, you can see it pushes the crate. Now, if we push and pull, so you don't actually have to be next to the crate in this situation. You just have to be in line with it, which could lead to some really interesting puzzles. I've got a bunch of other tutorials on my blog. I'll be looking at making a new YouTube tutorial to go along with the creating objects tutorial. Thanks for watching. And if you like this tutorial and you want to see more like it, press the subscribe button below and I'll see you next time.